The year 2020 started off historically for Fullington Academy football when the Trojans took a chance on hiring Brian Breland to become the new head football coach. He brought me his resume and he said, I know I'm too young, but at least I'd like the experience of an interview. He was absolutely the, the best interview that we had and I felt like he deserved a chance. Now, Brian Breland is only 24 years old. Last year, he was an assistant on this team that went one and nine. Now, starting this season, he had his issues with COVID-19 right out the gate. His team was quarantined for two weeks because five members on the squad tested positive for the coronavirus, but they were able to rebound. They were able to bounce back and go undefeated in region play and bring home the region title for the first time since 2006. It's, it's a really special year, and you know, not just because it was my first year, but for these kids to see the growth they took from the beginning of summer to where we are at at this point. That happiness was short-lived. The following Monday, the gates were locked, the lights were off, and the scoreboard shut down for the final time of the season. COVID-19 found another way to defeat Coach Breland and his Trojans with another two cases of the virus, forcing them to forfeit the playoffs due to quarantine, a devastating blow to the school and the community. It was one of the saddest moments that I've ever spent in teaching and in education. Um, the kids were heartbroken to see those, those big football players just drop their heads and try to hold it in was just heartbreaking. We didn't get to play our last regular season game at home and send our seniors off at home with a winning record. I would finish two and two at home. Not willing to give up without a fight for his four seniors, Breland, the Fullington administrators, and a GAPPS pushed back the opening round game to Saturday, one day after their 14-day quarantine ends, once again giving life to their state championship dreams. My seniors unanimously voted, Coach, we want to go out on our own terms. We don't want to let someone else decide what we do. We want to go out on our own terms. Whether we win or lose, they want to go out on our own terms. And I was really proud of our senior class. Now, according to Coach Breland, quarantining for the Fullington football team will end around 10 o'clock Friday night, but they will have practice first thing Saturday morning before they hit the road for a 3 o'clock kickoff with Flint River in the opening round of the playoffs. COVID-19 in sports in 2020, well, this is just a sign of the times, but Coach Breland says faith, family, and football will keep this team together. Reporting in Dooley County, Marvin James, 13 WMAZ Sports.